welcome and so what I'm going to show you today is how you can practice manuals with a friend. So it's really important that the person who's holding the bicycle understands what, they, what they're supposed to do so that you have a safe experience. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to step up over your front wheel of your bicycle, I'm going to grab onto your brakes, and I'm going to sit down on the tire, all right? So when you're ready, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put your cranks down so you can just step comfortably under your bicycle. You don't have to worry about uh, the bicycle tipping over. It's not going to. I'm going to grip with my knees here so you, you're plenty stable. So you can just go ahead and step onto your bicycle. Okay, perfect. Now from here, you're going to grab your own handlebars and put your brakes on. And you're going to hold your brakes on the whole time that we do this drill. Okay, it's okay. important that you have your brakes on, but I'm not going to drop you. All right. So what we're going to be doing here is practicing a manual, which is basically a standing wheelie that we can use going through terrain. And this is a really great way to practice it because when we're doing a manual, we're using an adjustment mechanism in our own body, which is our hips shifting forward and back slightly. So this is going to allow you to safely experience for the first time what it feels like to do an actual manual. The idea with the manual is that your arms are actually going to be fairly straight and your legs are actually going to be fairly straight. Again, we're not trying to pull from muscular tension in our biceps. We want to think about our arms kind of, being, yeah, more like meat hooks. So they're going to be fairly extended. The other thing we talked about earlier was, is how important our head position is when we're doing a manual. Remember, as we were manualing, we're almost kind of drawing our chin back and our head up. Our head weighs eight to 10 pounds. And if we're bringing it forward, we're not going to be able to lift the front of the bike. So what I'm going to have you do here is I'm going to have you just uh, stand up and shift your hips rearward a little bit and start to straighten your arms and legs. And I'm going to just, I've got you here so you won't tip over backward. Just keep shifting rearward. Keep shifting rearward more, more, more. There you go. Feel that so you can feel the front end starting to raise. Okay. Right. So now put your feet back to a comfortable position there. So that you're comfortable with your comfortable foot forward. Good. Okay. Go ahead and stand up again. And straighten your legs completely and your arms completely. Just relax. Just relax. Completely all the way back. Looking up. Look up. There you go. Okay. So now you're in a manual. So now you're just making those very, very slight, very slight, like a millimeter hip adjustments. That's you finding your balance point there. That's actually how a rider stays up in a manual there. So this is you, this is all you balance. Wow, that's a lot further back than I thought. Yeah, exactly. The hips are actually back over the back axle when we're doing this. So remember the key points of this, when you're working on this with a friend, you want to make sure that you're sitting on the tire, you're hanging onto the fork and you're hanging onto the brakes when they get on the bike. Then they're taking their own brakes. Of course, you have to stand up off the tire if they're going to manual and you're going to have them shift back, straighten their arms, straighten the legs, and keep the chin up while they do this. All right, nice work. Thanks, Simon.